In this video, I'll be covering why you should be playing the Polex in Season 7, and why I think this is the cheesiest, if not the best class in the game right now. Welcome to my channel, and I hope you enjoy this video. In case some of you have missed the patch notes, the Polex received some massive buffs this season. Here's a quick recap. New dismount ability with knockdown effect, increased slow from 20% to 40% for the old bill hook ability, greatly increased the block break of basic attacks and skills. What's not included in the patch but has been changed anyway is each slash of Beck D. Corbin now lowers defense by 20%, 40%, and 60% for each respective slash. Now let's get to the ideal Polux build. I like to run 40-60 armor toughness as I find this to be the best in terms of tankiness. Since the Polex already has high damage and penetration anyway, there is no need to run strength or agility with this build. As for runes on the Polex, I like to run the following. Pushback moves you forward, CC immunity for 5 seconds after your first basic attack. For the helmet, run any of the purple runes which buffs your bandages and the rest on critical value. Finally, for the armor, you want to be as tanky as possible, so choose all the damage reduction runes and fill the rest with critical value. If you haven't unlocked your runes yet, I recommend just running flat critical value and health on all your armor and weapons. I like to run the following abilities as I find them to be the best. Knockback push, this is your primary knockdown ability. Although the cooldown isn't as low as the old bill hook, it is a much easier ability to land. Make the Corbin, this is your primary DPS and unit killing ability. You can combo this with Rough Justice or Lock Bar Strike to increase your DPS. Old Bill Hook. This is your secondary knockdown ability. Timed right, you can combo this with Knockback to permanently CC the enemy hero. And finally, Rough Justice. This is a charge based CC which is super effective and easy to land as it can also hit through block. Charge can also be used to escape quickly. Alternatively, you can run Lock of Our Strike, which is great for pushing back Star Wars, dismounting heroes, and stopping cap charge. However, running this ult means that all four of your CC abilities can be denied by a well timed block. Standard combo when fighting an enemy hero is to use the pushback ability, followed by a basic attack, old bill hook, basic attack, and finally, rough justice. This is one of the easier combos to land as you can guarantee the enemy will still be CC'd for the entire duration of the combo. If they have any escape abilities, you can chase them down with Rough Justice. Your second combo is to start with Rough Justice, Pushback, Basic Attack, Old Bill Hook, and Beg D. Corbin. This combo is the easiest to land as you cannot block this CC ability and it is guaranteed to pin the enemy hero down. Only downside is that if you do not time Pushback correctly after the ult, the enemy hero will not be CC'd. Use Beck D. Corbin after Old Bill Hook as it lets you land as many hits as possible when chained with the Old Bill Hook's 60% slow. And feel free to replace any of the above combo with Lock Bar Strike, however, remember that this is a blockable skill. Finally, the best units to combo with your Polex for an easy insta kill on heroes are the following Paladins or Men at Arms, Conditory Guards, or Pike Militia. Any other fast moving units with a type formation works, all you have to do is land your CC, X formation, then V for your insta kill. Now let's check out how OP the Polex really is.